What's up guys, it's your boy Eat here and welcome back to another deck profile. Today I'm coming at you with a deck that I promised that I've been waiting for about 2-3 weeks now that just finally came in today, well the last card came in today, and that is my budget uh, Grand Blue deck for, uh, for St Vanguard Standard. This is my Master Swordsman Nightstorm deck, and it is an imaginary gift to protect one deck, if you guys go on to enjoy this deck profile, leave a like and subscribe down below. Otherwise, let's get into the deck profile. And do mind you, I said this is a budget deck. So you can build this deck for fairly cheap, so under $20. For your main vanguard, you're obviously playing your four copies of Master Swordsman Nightstorm. Uh, he has the imaginary gift protect symbol. And his skill is one placed on vanguard rearguard. You put the two, up two cards from your deck into the drop zone. And when you do so, he gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. And on Vanguard Rear Guard Auto, when it attacks a Vanguard, if you have 10 or more cards in your drop zone, which is fairly easy to do, you can counterblast one to draw a card anytime it attacks a Vanguard. So it's essentially a three drive check. But don't forget that Grand Blue is a milling deck. So you're putting a lot of cards into your drop zone all the time. So you could deck out very easily. But if you don't have any cards in hand, this card helps you refill your hand. So it's a good. Ste steady Vanguard, I should say. Good Steady Vanguard. Your other grade 3 you're playing the deck is 4 copies of Witch Doctor of Treachery Negro Reach. This card comes from the My Glorious Justice, uh, well, or the it's either My Glorious Justice or the Champions of the Asia Circuit. That's where all the, these cards came from. Uh, anyways, Witch Doctor of Negro, uh, Treachery Negro Reach's skill. On uh, Vanguard, Rearguard, during your turn, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. He also has the imaginary gift protect icon as well. And in the drop zone, counter blast 2, and call a car, you can call this card to Rearguard, but if you're stuck and you don't have a grade 3 in your hand, you can also superior ride this unit by the same counter blast. So it's a good, but that's only, uh, that's only if you didn't ride. So it will help fix your hand. That's it for the grade threes, which is eight grade threes. On to the grade twos. I'm playing four copies of Punching Frangul. And so Punching Frangul's skill is Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 2, to call a card finger to drop zone to rear guard other than Kicking Frangul. Uh, it, oh, not, uh, it, not other than Kicking Frangul. To call a card to rear guard. If you called Kicking Frangul, you can Counter Charge and Soul Charge 1. So obviously, in hand in with this, I'm obviously playing the four copies of Kicking Frangal. So Kicking Frangal is like these two go hand in hand together. So when this unit is placed from the drop zone to my grade C units gets plus 4k. So when Fra Punching Frangal costs Kicking Frangal, these two get instantly added 4,000 power and I get a counter charge and a soul charge one. So essentially it's a good help for getting the numbers that I need that this deck sometimes will basically lack, but it's a great in hand in combo. And the last grade two we're playing this deck is four copies of Skeleton Bomber. Uh, normally and not usually a unit we just see in Grand Blue, but the reason I'm playing Skeleton Bomber is because if this card is three, if there's three or more Skeleton Bomber in your drop zone, you can counter blast one to call up to four Skeleton Bomber from your drop zone to rear guards, and they get plus 4,000 power and boost. So essentially it would be a 12k attacker. So it's really good for hitting the really good for hitting numbers, and at the same time, since you're putting a lot of cards into your drop zone, it helps a bunch. Uh, that's it for the grade twos. On to the grade ones. We are playing four copies of Evil Shade. Uh, Evil Shade skill: Counter Blast one and bind a card for your drop zone. And you can call a card with the same name of that card that you bound from the drop zone to rear guard. So another way of getting Frangul, uh, Frangul out or kicking Frangul to superior call is to create a great chain reaction. So you can counter bless one, bind a punching Frangul, superior call punching Frangul, then use punching Frangul skill and, you know, counter bless one, soul slash two, and then get out kicking Frangul. It's a great way to return it. And then here's another card that most people don't see. It's a promo card for Grand Blue that's like 97 cents. And that's Derek the Ghosty. So Derek the Ghosty in Grand Blue, you're milling your cards so often that you need a way to help steady your deck. And this is how you steady your deck. Uh, so when Derek the Ghosty is in the drop zone, I can bind Derek the Ghosty itself. 
and put a normal unit from their drop zone to the bottom of my deck. And then put two cards from your top of your deck into your drop zone. So I'm securing a card to the bottom and putting more into the drop zone. Great. Card. Uh, grade, uh, last, uh, another grade one we play in the deck is one copy of Dragon Spirit. Just another target for, uh, punching or, yeah, well, really, it's only for punching. Because then, if it's played from the drop zone, it gets plus 4k. If your drop zone is 10 or more, it gets 8k, 8k. So, it could be a 16k unit. So, only reason that it's in the deck. And then, since I said this is a budget deck, I'm obviously playing four copies of Dolph the Ghosty, aka your, your grade one PG. If you have access to Gustian, I recommend playing more copies of uh, Dragon Spirit or uh, Dancing Cutlass. Would be the same way. So, yeah, Dolph. And then that's all for the regular units. Now on to your trigger units. Since I am playing 8 Crit, 4 Rusty's Banshee, 4 copies of Night Spirit. And then I said I not I don't have the draw I don't have the access to the draw PG so I'm playing four cop four regular draw triggers, four heal triggers, and then your starter is Captain Night Kid. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this deck my deck profile for Budget Grand Blue. If you guys enjoyed again, leave a like and subscribe. And thank you guys for tuning in. This is Yaboy Eat signing out. Peace out, everybody.